everyone it's claire from diamond painting nerd and welcome to a kitting up video so i'm going to kit up this gorgeous gorgeous little one um it's a 30 by 40 i bought it from Shein, um and actually i don't think i've showed my Shein haul for these yet so um stay tuned for that if it hasn't already been posted but um i'm taking part in the 30 by 40 dp along um, which is the um, event that's being run by Scotty Dog Crafts, Liz at Scotty Dog Crafts. And um, I think this is probably going to be my last one for April, I would have thought. Um, I've not been um, I've not been feeling the best um, this month, so I haven't got as many done as I would have liked. But um, yeah, I'm aiming to get this one finished in time for the end of the month, hopefully. So this one here, look how cute this picture is. Now, I've got two dogs. I've got a Labrador and I've got a Yorkie Bichon Cross. So she doesn't, she's not black and tan like this. But when I saw this Yorkie picture, I just thought it's gorgeous. And I hope, I hope the rendering on this um, does it justice. Now, there are 28 colours, so I'm holding out hope that actually that's a lot of colours to help with the, um, the rendering. And we'll see how we get on. So I have grabbed my um, canvas out of my folio and I have my train of drills here. And they are, why do they do this? They're in reverse order again. OK, that's fine. We're going to go backwards on the pots because I can't be dealing with um, the numbers being the wrong way round. So this is quite handy because they have all three bits of information on. So they've got the canvas number on, they've got the colour number and they've also got the DMC code. So, um, yeah, if you are working through DMC codes um, or... Um, or anything like that then you have them on the packet already in addition the um i love having the canvas number on it as well because that means that they shouldn't then get separated um, and if they do or a pack um gets separated from the rest of the train for any reason um then they can easily be located in terms of um, where they belong to so that was color number 28 that's your standard 3865 then we are moving on to colour 27, and this is colour 3854. Now, is this has a lot of the orangey and um, browny colours. And I tell you what, I'm going to get my logbook out because I want to have a quick sneaky peek to see which of these I've actually got. Um, or which of these might end up as a new colour in my spares so that was colour number three eight um what did i say three eight three four three eight no three eight five four sorry three eight five four i don't have i know i don't have a lot of these brown brownie orangey colours so this might uh this might add quite a few to my spares collection 3853 um, I have some of these already by the looks of the list so let's just pop these open and again I won't say it too loudly because I don't want to alert them but that's three for three with no static so goodness me they're behaving today so 25 we have three seven seven two which according to my log i do not have so again this is going to be a fun kitting down with these new colors if it continues on like this three seven seven two i think we've got a, a little hitchhiker in there and i'll get him out when i come to use them so number 24 is this peachy color three seven seven zero not in my spares currently so oh goodness me I had to tip them all over my finger right three seven seven zero and we had an escapee so you can go back in there so that is 24 and we have 23 which is color number three seven four three three seven four three oh we've got some of these okay I've got a little hitchhiker in there as well. Your little little brownie orangey friend in with them. And these lilac-y, lavender, lilac-y, dusky purple. 
whatever you want to call it. Come on. Come on. Now, if there's one or two left in the packet, I'm really not precious about getting them all out unless there's a really small amount like these. Um, oh, actually, there's quite a few hitchhikers in that one. Can you see that? I can see at least four brown and a white in there. Mm, okay, I'll fix that when I um, come to use those because that will bug me. Right, then we have 3064. And it's saying I have some of these already. So I will add these to whatever's left over to my stash. And again, they're not, there's no static so far. 21, 3041. Let's turn the page. 3041 saying I have some of these. I recognise the colour. Okay, let's get those in there. Now, typically, I have been doing my 30 by 40s um, in the little storage boxes, which I did a video on how I make these with the little pockets on the front. Um, but when this is spare, I will jump on and use this um, instead. So I have got a few empty ones of those um, little 28 pot cases um, that I can go ahead and kit up some other kits. So um, I'm just deciding whether I want to do that in a uh, bulk or whether I just want to do it as a go. So this one is 961. Now, if you haven't seen the epic kitting up video where I kitted up five kits in those uh, 28 pot cases, then um, I'll try and leave it linked somewhere for you. The card at the top. And what's this? 945. I think I've got 945. Yeah, I have. Um, I'll try and leave that linked on a card at the top um, so you can go and head on back and watch that. But um, a word of advice, go grab a cuppa um, before you watch that. It's a bit of a long one. I think it's about an hour in the end. It's not, you know... Uh, it's not massively long, but yeah, it's it felt like forever when I was doing it. So yeah, I'm just deciding whether I'm brave enough to um, sit and do a... God, there's quite a few hitchhikers in that one again. Um, if I'm brave enough to um, sit and do a, a mass kitting up again, or whether um, I'm going to just do it one by one as I go. I'm not sure yet. But as I'm working through, there's quite a few trapped in the packet there. Um, as I'm working through the um, my 30 by 40s, I think after I've completed this one, I'll do a, um, a slightly larger one, a, a 40 by 50. Right, 919. I didn't have any of the last one. Um, I haven't got any of these either. Yeah, so as I'm working through my... Oh, that's quite a few in there as well. Um, as I finish this one, sorry, then um, I've done quite a few 30 by 40s in a row. So I'm going to um, probably switch it up and do, um, do a 40 by 50 next. So I've got a few of those in my stash. I'm also working on, slowly, I'm also working on my uh, Diamond Art Club kit, uh, the Whispered Word Lenore. And I have that on my dining room table. And when I'm feeling well enough to go and sit at my dining room table um, to go and do some of that, then I have some of these, 844. Um, then I will go and do that. But it's quite a big kit. It is, um, I think it's like six. 60 something by 86 something like that so it, it's a big one um so i i can't do that one in in my room because it is too big for my desk and i can actually fully um have it have it fully open on my dining room table um and then um hubby's got some new lego he's got the optimus prime um, Lego set so um, we have been in there together uh, me doing a little bit of diamond painting and him doing his Lego so it's quite nice to get away from the TV so 
I don't have any of those last one either. So this is 742. I think I've got these. Yeah, I do. 742. In you go. Again. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about how many um how many are crossing over in these um drills. So 10 is you'll probably see the worst pack coming up in a second. Uh, 647 and it says I have some of these again what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to empty these it's not too bad because there's not actually too many of these but I'm going to have to empty them into a tray and then actually dig out um, the hitchhikers because there are so many of them um, that yeah it's going to really frustrate me okay 645 um, it says I don't have any of these Look at how many hitchhikers are in this pack. Can you see how many red are in there? Just, ugh. Again, not so many in here that when I come to, when I come to use them, I will, um, I'll pour them all into a tray and then I'll just, um, I'll just dig them all out. Okay, then we have eight. This is probably the worst, the worst set of drills that I've had um, for hitchhikers. These have been horrendous. Um, I don't know what number this was, four, nine, something. Again, just full. You see them at the bottom. There's about five in there that I can see. Ah, yay, yay. Oh, there's another one as well, look. Oops, let's move them over that way. That's going to be easier. Right, number seven is, let's turn the page as well. I mean, I don't need to see whether they're going to be new ones in my stash, but I'm just too impatient to find out. So 436, um, I have some of these. Mind you, with the amount of, mi the amount of mixed drills in that one, I think they should be giving me more than one DMC code because it's probably half of one pack and half of another. Um, where was the red ones? Was it? Uh, it was eight, wasn't it? Yeah. Goodness me. I might sit there um, after this video and go ahead and get these drills sorted because um, I'm not going to want to work with this if I'm having to sift through 28 colours and getting rid of all of these hitchhikers. So I just want to give myself the best chance to not get stressed with it. So five is this one. Now I know they can get caught across packets, but these have been, these have been pretty bad. I haven't quite opened that enough, I don't think. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, right. A couple of... A couple that wanted to escape. Okay, nearly there. Number four. We have... Uh, 356. And it's saying I have these in square, but not in round. So I can't imagine there's going to be many of these left because there's only a few in here and if anything I'm a bit concerned but obviously if the weight includes those other diamonds as well those other drills that I might be shortchanged and I hope that's not the case but we'll have to see then we have three four nine um it's saying I have some of these beautiful red color so let's get those all in there and again because there's only a few I just want to make sure they all get in there and then we have the oh of course we have the 310 because all would not be well with the world if we didn't have a big bag of 310 in a kit right okay 310 in there actually those look to be pretty clean to be fair and um, they've got a really nice shine on them and i can't see any hitchhikers it's just typical isn't it 
and then we have the last pack which is a 161 which i have so there's actually quite a lot of the browns that i don't have which is going to be super exciting to add to my stash and we have oh that one's trapped in the in the seal so that can go oh you knew it wouldn't be one of my videos if I did not get to the stage where I spilt some drills. Um, I've got a random, that's probably a 3865 there as well. Um, so we have now kitted up all 28 colours um, for this painting and I am I'm ready to get started on it. Hi everyone, it's Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and I think I'm going to make this one video. I'm going to make it, make it the kitting up, I'm going to make it the review and I'm going to make it the kitting down. I'm just going to do it all in one video um, because this didn't take me long. So here is the finished result from my Yorkie 30 by 40 painting. I am so impressed with the rendering on this. I think it's come out beautifully. Um, so the canvas was lovely and sticky. It was a round drill. Um, I do want to do some more square drill painting. So I'm going to kind of hold back a little on buying um, round, any more round drill paintings. Um, but yes, this came out beautifully. So I think the 28 colours really helped. Um, and yeah, you can just see the rendering is so nice. The only thing I kind of wish was that there was some speciality drills. Um, I've got some white ABs that I could put in the eyes, but um, they're a little, a little holographic. So maybe some glitter, um, some glitter drills um, I might purchase and replace. Who knows? But it's all done. It's all sorted. So now it's time to kit down. Now, from my last video, I have actually moved um, my storage over. So now I'm using all four rows. Um, and this is going to be a problem because I've actually got some um, new drills coming as well. So for the month of May um the there is an event called diy dp i think um i'll have it i'll have it in the description box down below um and this is being run by um sam at kitting up kitten um and the whole idea is that you do a custom um on a blank canvas and so um i had this whole thing of fomo and i wanted to do it but um, it's um, I'm using square drills, so I yeah I'm quite short on square drills, um, massively short. I have ordered some, um, but it's still not going to be enough to finish the painting. But it's going to be enough to get me started. So yeah, really short on square drills. So what I need to do is hurry up and get through some square drill paintings um, that have got the colours that I need. There are 88 colours, so um, yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be um, an adventure. Now, half of those are all covered off by the drills that I've ordered. So that's not too much of a problem. And also some of them, I have some in my stash already. So um, that's not too bad. So yeah, I just need to, I need to work through some kits and then I'm going to have to order some extra drills um, to be able to um, fulfill the other ones anyway. Anyway, I digress. So um, the point is, this is going to be my last 30 by 40. Um, this was for the um, 30 by 40 DP along that was being um, run by uh, Liz at Scotty Dog Crafts. Um, and yeah, so I've enjoyed doing that um, this month. Um, it's kept me busy. So I'm now ready to kit down. So let's go for this. So I have my, because I work on numbers, I need my DMC uh, chart over here so we have color one and i'm using my trusty notebook over here so one one six one i have some of those oh, that's the square ones i don't need those so number one oh, i love it when it matches a lot of the paintings that i've done have actually been from Shein. so i've said in previous videos i actually hope that the drills are of similar color um, if not identical so number one is done number two oh three ten so i have a bag in the back here for my three tens and i'll find a better bag because i can see there's a little hole at the top here for this in this bag so i don't want those all spilling out everywhere so i just pop those ones in the back um and i've got extra uh three eight six fives in the back as well because 
I don't need 10 bags of either of those colours. So that's that done. Num number three is 349. And um, yeah, so then I've got some of these. So three, uh, 349. Um, oh. oh, okay. I have some in resin. Um, and I've explained in a previous video that actually there is a difference in the uh, the cut in the diamonds in uh, resin and the quality and the colour. So any resin diamonds I'm actually keeping separate. So that's going to be mainly my Diamond Art Club ones. OK, so that was that one done. Number four is 356 so 356 it's saying oh it's saying i've got some in square but not in round so 356 so i should have an empty bag and i do so that is another one to go oops into my log book with a tick and let's go back in so it will give 356 a little tick Okay, and then number five is 414, and it's saying I've got these. Um, I'm racing against the clock purely because I know that Amazon is due to ring my doorbell um, with my order. See, I've ordered um, a bunch of square drills from Art Dot um, to do my custom, so... I've ordered those and what else have I also ordered? Oh, I've ordered, oh, this, this is how crazy it is. Um, I am stuck in the Apple Ether, iPhone, Apple Watch, uh, just iPad, Mac, everything is Apple. Um, and I really want to use Pattern Keeper um, to do my custom with. And you cannot get Pattern Keeper on um, iOS devices. So I tried to download it to uh, my Kindle Fire, which is re a really old Kindle Fire. Um, and it's just too old to do it. So um, I have splurged and I've just bought myself um, a cheapy Android tablet that costs £70 um, just because I want to use it for Pattern Keeper so I don't have to work on paper sheets. How ridiculous is that? So that is also coming 415. And now I've got both 415 and 414. So let's get 415. You probably can't see this side of the box, so apologies. Um, that 415, that is the square, that's the resin, and these are the rounds. Um, yeah, so I've got that come in, and I've also got some A3 um, white cardstock as well. So for me to complete this painting, I'm not actually going to do it on a canvas. I'm going to do it on card um, in sections, and then I'm going to piece them together and frame them. Um, I will be filming videos on the process of that for you as well, so stay tuned for that. So then we have 436, uh, 436 round we have, 436, let's get that bag out. I've normally got my tweezers to put a marker in where I'm at, but I don't have them in with me at the moment. So 436, and this can go back in the box here. Yeah, apologies, this is off screen. Let me just move this over a little, shall I? So that was a number seven. I'll tell you what, let's grab out my pen. This is one that I got from Amazon as well. Actually came with the multi-placer um, tips and some wax and stuff. And it was not too bad. It's like £11. Um, it's really good, uh, really good deal. Um, I haven't shown this in an Amazon haul because I unboxed, I just took it out and started using it. Uh, where did we get to? Number eight was 498. So 498 on here. It says we've got some 498. It's that burgundy colour, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I've also ordered, oh, Timu. Timu now shipped to the UK, which was the worst news for me. Um, worst news for my bank balance for sure and um, so I've done a Timu order which I'm waiting for and in my Timu order I've actually got some square DMC labels coming which is quite handy so I can switch my round ones to square ones for my square drills just to make it a little easier to find uh, so nine was six four five so we're going to go over the page on this one 
645. Uh, where are we? So 64. Oh, we don't have any yet. This is a new one today. Fresh one today. Right, so 645. Now, I don't know what's going to happen because these drills that are going to be turning up any second... I'm not sure they're going to fit in this box. Um, so I um, may have to split my rounds and my squares. Six, four, five, tick. Um, sooner than I thought. Um, and it's purely because of this custom painting, but we'll see. Uh, Ten is six, four, seven, which I've got. So six, four, seven. Some little bag he was hiding there. Like this sage green colour. And having this logbook bit has been an absolute godsend because when I um, was sorting out my custom picture, um, I then just referred to this to see which ones I actually had um, drills of already. Obviously, it doesn't tell me how many I've got of each, but uh, so 11, 7, 4, 2, yep, 7... Four, two, beautiful sunshine yellow. Oh, it's kind of almost an orange. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you actually ordered from uh, Shein at all? I have been extremely pleased with the overall quality um, of the kits. Um, and I know there's some controversy behind um, Shein. And I'd like to think that with all of that, they've sorted themselves out. 801 is a new one. Um, but 801, where are you? There you are. Um, but yeah, I have been so impressed. I suppose it's the same as all the other um, budget-friendly companies that are out there. Um, it's just another option, isn't it? But I've been um, over overly i've been um extremely happy with um the quality from the diamond painting kits that i've had from Shein. but they only do they only seem to offer round drills which is really frustrating um eight two three i've got some of those so i'm hoping that at some stage um they will start offering um square drills as square drill paintings too um because yeah i mean originally when i went on it was mainly my first order from them was mainly 30 by 40 paintings um but now they offer um 40 by 50 as well so they have moved on in terms of what they offer um i just hope that um i hope they start bringing in um square drills as well so 14 is 844 844 we have some of those also so 842844 here we are in both square and round put those in there okay and then 15 is 902 where are you 902 i've got some of those See, so, yeah, I'm still sure that there are certain colours that I used uh, more regularly um, in paintings because I know that I've had, this isn't the only lot of these I've had. And there's a slight, slight shade difference there, but I'm not, I'm not worrying about it. Yeah, it's hit, tend to seem to get the similar sort of numbers that come up. I know you get your standard colours and, and that, but um, like this one, for instance, uh, I've had that a few times, and those are the leftovers from probably three or four kits. So that's 902. And then moving on to number 16, which is 919, which is a new one. 919. But as I said, with the, um, the bags, they're actually ready um in there ready for me to um kit down only for the rounds um because i a i ran out of bags um and b i um also am waiting for the square stickers uh, 919 
for my uh, my squares. So I didn't want to go ahead and put like, a load of circle stickers on because I'm going to replace them. Okay, and then number, where do we get to? 919, number 17 is 921. So when I was kitting this up earlier on in this video, um, I was wondering how many new ones I was going to get because there's quite a lot of browns in this and I tend to have a lot of browns in my my stash so far. So this will be quite nice to fill in a few gaps that I've got. So that was 921, so we'll give that a little tick. And then we've got... 18 uh, which is 922 which is another new one 921922 let's get that one out pop that one in there that was 18 922 and in she goes close that all up okay let's give 922 a little tick Okay, moving on, number 19, we have 945, which I think I've got because for some reason that number stuck in my head. Yeah, it's that peachy colour because I've had these quite a few times as well, I think. 945. Okay, in they go. And back in the box. Number 20, 961. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, I have got some apparently. 961. Now, this is where the tones are going to be different, aren't they? I just know this is going to happen. <gasps> oh, I'm wrong. I am wrong. I find the pinks and purples to be the most obvious um, when they don't match. I do match in those ones. I, I stand corrected. So that was 20 and then 21, uh, 3041. I've got some of those. 3041 um, in round and in square. Um, what number did I say that was? 3041, 21. I lose track of uh, what number I've got to. I know it would be easier. Um, from a kitting down point of view to have the DMC codes on my pots um, but I find it much easier um, to diamond paint with just having to find if it's um, if it's number one for instance and I just go number one's number one okay that's a pot and if I go oh what's H that's 14 okay so rather than trying to find I mean it's not too bad when it's um, the alphas and the numbers um, but it's when it's when companies then start using a whole load of symbols and I'm like, I, my brain can't deal with that. Um, right, 22 is 3064. So let's have a little look. 3064 we have. I don't know who we is. Um, it's just force of habit saying it. Right, 3064, those are the rounds. And we have a colour difference. That's quite a big colour difference as well. Why? Okay, so this is what I do in this instance. This is going to bug me because they are not close enough for my liking. Just out of interest, let me look at, see, look, the 3064 in the, in the squares, there are three different tones there going on between the two rounds and the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, yeah, and these bags that I've ordered are slightly bigger, slightly taller, even though they're the same listing on Amazon. Go figure. Um, 3064. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pop those into a bag. I'm going to pop those then back in here. And then what will happen um, is when I then have some more 3064 and I'll check which one is closest um, and I will get rid of the other drills. Um, that's the best way for me to, and a dog hair, that's the best way for me to figure it out when um, there is a huge colour difference between the two. When there's not much, then I just chuck them in together and don't worry about it. But that was an obvious colour difference. Um, and that probably belongs to another DMC colour, to be honest. Um, okay, anyway, moving on. That was 22. So 23 um, is 37. 
3743 I have. And that is going to be in this final row. So 37, it's going to be that one there. 3743, that's the square of the rounds. And I don't know why I'm getting so much dog hair everywhere at the moment. The joys of a Labrador. Okay, let's top you up. Not many of those left, but that's okay. And then 24 is 3770. 3770 saying I don't have any of, um, but I should have the... Um, I should have the bag in here ready. So, oh, I do. So I said, I don't know in, if it's early on in this video or my last kitting down, actually. Um, I did try and sift through the box and actually go back and tick which ones I had. But I think I've missed a bag or two um, where I couldn't really see it in there. So it looked, I didn't notice that I had them sort of thing. So that was 24. Uh, 25 is 3770. Oh, hang on. No, I've done that wrong. No, that can't be. Oh, 3772. Oh, my goodness me. Panicked then. 3772 I've also got. So, again, that's just another one that um, when I was flicking through, I couldn't see that I had any in the box. So, that's okay. It's just a missing tick. Okay, 3772. That's 25 done. 26 is 3853. And over onto the last page. So 3853, I do have some. 3846, 3853, here we are. And it's that orangey colour. And that was number 26. Mm, we've got a couple of tone differences in the bag already by the looks of things so we're going to roll with this one because it's not it's not massively off when i'm when i'm using them you just when when i'm using them i'm not going to notice so and if i do notice that much when they're in the tray then i'll sift through and figure out which ones i want uh and then the last two three eight five four is um a no three eight five four which is the next color on the list and that is an empty bag. Okay, so that was number 27. And then I bet you can guess what that last number is going to be. 3854, in you pop. And I'll give that a little tick. And then the last one, of course, is going to be 3865. So, um, I do have the start of another bag because I am only using small bags um, because I only do 30 by mainly 30 by 40 or 40 by 50 kits. I don't have a ton of leftover drills. Um, obviously, 3865 and um, 310 are an exception to the rule, um, but I've only got um, I've got well, I've got a sealed bag, which I've kept to gift for anybody that is short on 3865. Um, and I've kept myself a bag there and also um, another bag. And the reason I've done two bags for 3865 is because in one of my previous videos, I did show it, one of my um, one of my paintings um, that is, is mainly 3865 in the background, the drills were yellow, they were horrible. Um, and so I'm gonna need to replace them um, in which case why well, I'm building up my 3865s in there um, so I will get to use get to use those I might may even have to go into the other spare pack that I've got um, oh so sorry there we go there's another pack of 3865 so um, and then I've got a sealed um, pack that I never used from here we are I've got a sealed pack that I never used from a painting as well so I am keeping hold of those um, firstly for my um, firstly for my painting that I want to do that I need some to replace the background um, and secondly to um, gift on and share drills where people need them so that is it that is my kitting up my review and my kitting down video all done so thanks very much for joining me as always if you've enjoyed it thumbs up subscribe if you're new hit the bell notification button drop me a comment down below and I'll see you all again next time <laughs> bye